These are chemicals that literally hack our metabolism and make us fatter by changing the way proteins in the body are expressed that are crucial for our fat and sugar metabolism. They also make us sicker because inflammation in the coronary arteries and in the blood vessels that line the brain can contribute to heart attacks and even stroke. And because these chemicals contribute to disease and disability that affects our healthcare system, we all pay. And ultimately these chemicals make us poor. Phthalates are synthetic chemicals that were not designed with the human body in mind. And unfortunately, that lack of design with the human body in mind means that it can have multiple consequences for human health. They're often found in fragrances. They're found uh, in shampoos and lotions. They're also in softer plastic food wraps and other forms of food packaging. In plastic bottles, they're in, used in polyvinyl chloride plastic bottles because they soften that kind of plastic. So they can even be found in food containers. Phthalates are not covalently bound to the plastic lining itself, so they can resorb readily onto food. Also, if the plastic packaging is warmed or washed with harsher detergents, that facilitates leaching of the chemical into food and into the human body. There are no safe level of these chemicals that have been truly identified. In fact, the problem with this group of chemicals is that we can't assume that only the dose makes the thing a poison. Now, nothing in this study undermines the importance of healthy diet and physical activity for the prevention of obesity, diabetes, or even heart disease. But unfortunately, we have an extremely rapidly growing body of knowledge that identifies synthetic chemical exposures as a third important risk factor for the development of these chronic conditions that are unfortunately so disabling. When adults die early in life, say to heart disease, they aren't able to contribute to the economy in their peak earning years. And so we added up the costs in the form of lost economic productivity of adults who died early as a result of phthalate exposures in our study. And when you add that up over the US population, you're talking anywhere from about 40 to $47 billion a year so that's another cost that we have to balance when we think about the ongoing use of this chemical from a safety perspective. We clearly have a regulatory framework that is outdated. When you look at chemicals unintentionally or intentionally added to foods, many of the rules that are still set in 2010 go back to the 1960s in the form of the Federal Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act. Particularly when it comes to chemicals unintentionally or intentionally added to cosmetics, there's even a fragrance loophole 
that allows the chemical industry or the fragrance industry to add these chemicals without identifying what they are under the so-called trade secret exemption. So there are multiple unfortunate flaws in the framework, and we think that this study really suggests an urgent need for policy action.